Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today I want to do my part two of the outlet haul. And the next store that I went to is called the Cosmetics Company Store. In fact, it is my favorite store in the outlet in San Diego because I think A, they have a lot, a lot of dope brands. It's not just like the generic like Estee Lauder. It's Jo Malone, it's Tom Ford, it's La Mer. It's just really awesome. And B, I love, love the sales associates there. So if you guys are watching my video, hello, I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me out. Oh so, yeah, I highly recommend the cosmetics company store to anybody if you are in the San Diego outlet area. So the first item I got is a box of Max. So this is a Max right here. It is from the brand Origins. And this is called the Plant Scription Use Renewing Masks. And in this box, you have six masks. So this was retail for $37.5. But I got it for $18.75, which is so amazing considering the fact that you get six masks. So that is $3 per mask. How can you beat that? And also, I really love the brand Origins. I think they're such a good, clean, planet-based brand. So it is such like a high quality brand. In fact, this brand made one of my favorite primer. Like I have it right here. It is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. Let me tell you, this baby is amazing. I got this one full price, but let me tell you, it worth every penny. If you haven't tried this one, you should totally try it because this one gives you such a cooling sensation. And let me show you guys. It literally comes out like this, almost like a hair gel, and then it melts into your skin and it gives you a cooling sensation in the meantime so that if you feel like you're super hot or sweaty, you use this one. Super effective. And also, it really just smooths your pores and also settles everything and it grabs your makeup so that your foundation won't sliding around. Anyway, this is really, really the best. So yeah, I'll definitely test this one out and I'll let you guys know if it is worth it or not. So definitely stay tuned. All right, moving on, the second item I got is this Clinique Pep Start Quick Cleansing Swipes. And this is what it looks like. This was retail for $12.50, but I got it for half off. So I got it for $6. So $6 for 50 toilets. That is amazing. It is literally cheaper than the Neutrogena one. And these ones are bigger. That means that you only need to use one toilet to clean your whole face, including your necks, which is super amazing if you're calculating how much it costs per toilet. So yeah, I love the brand Clinique. I think they're amazing and I love this packaging. It is so beautiful. The only reason why I didn't keep buying this is because of the price. But when I found this one in outlet, I'm like, yes, I have to have it. All right, moving on. The next brand I got from the cosmetics company store is MAC. And how can I not buy some MAC? You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's on sale. So the first item I got is this pair of lashes. Actually, this one doesn't have a number, but you know what? I love MAC lashes. That's why I decided to give this one a try. This one was retail for $14.5, but I got it half of $7.25, which is really amazing. It's basically the same price as Adele. So how can I beat that? I think this is a little bit more dramatic, so I'm probably going to save this one for a more dramatic look, but I love MAC lashes. The only reason why I don't keep buying it is because of the price. But whenever I saw this on sale, I always try to at least buy a pair because I think they're really beautiful and they're really sturdy. You can actually tell the difference between this and the Dell because these are made a little bit better, like in terms of the sturdiness and also in terms of like the whole quality. I still can feel like the difference. So yeah, whenever I have a chance to buy Mac at a Dell price, I always make sure I buy a pair. So yeah, this is the first item I got from Mac. All right, moving on. The second MAC item I got is a brush. So here is a brush right here. And this is in the number 141S. 
and I love this brush because I think this is a perfect contour brush because I always love to squish my you know regular shaped brush to make it like a line so that I can contour so when I saw this brush I'm like where have you been in my life I need you in my life and also I got this one for 40% off this one was retail for $29 but I got it for $17 so it is a really good deal and I love the bristle so it feels really really soft and I think this one is a synthetic brush so that no animals is harming the process which I love and I love the fact that this you know is really like well made I actually really love MAC brush except their price I feel like it's not fair for them to still keep like the high price point now they're going all like synthetic fiber so I only buy it whenever I have a discount so when I saw this one I'm like yes I need to snatch this one up and I love this brush all right, moving on, the next item I got is actually something that I've been eyeing for for maybe seven years now. I have talked about it multiple times. So this time when I saw it in the store, I'm like, enough, I need to get it so that I don't need to keep talking about it. And that is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer Kit. So this is what it looks like. And this is actually a kit with a cream product and the powder. So let me show you guys. And here is the inside looks like. I really love this mini compact. And I am in the shade Ivory. So let me open it up. And ta-da! Here is the product. And I believe this is one of the first Bobbi Brown items that I really, really want. But at that time, I was like, this is so expensive. I shouldn't buy it. But finally, finally, after all these years, I got it. And I got it at a discount, which is so amazing. So this concealer kit is retail for $30, but I got it for 50% off. So I got it for $15, which is so amazing. And here you will have the concealer, which is here. And I love this color. I actually think Bobbi Brown's concealer is really, really creamy. And what I love the most is that it pairs with a pale yellow powder because we all know that once you set your concealer underneath your eyes, you need to really set it using a powder. And what's better way than a pale yellow powder? Because pale yellow powder not only will really set your under eye, but also it will enhance your under eye, like gives you like a brightening effect, which is a trick that used by so many makeup artists. So I just love the fact that they have this in a kit. And this kit is super easy to carry with and also the product is super creamy and I just love it and also I finally got it for the fact that I only pay $15 is amazing so yeah this is the one item I got from Bobbi Brown all right moving on the next brand I didn't even expect to see in the store but guess what I love it so much when I saw them in the store and it is a brand Tom Ford so I got two items from Tom Ford so the first one is this foundation stick and this is called the Trisless Foundation Stick. And I saw so many good reviews online raving about this one. And I watched a lot of the beauty gurus reviewing this one. And they all love this one. So I want to buy this one so bad for a long time. But this one was retail for $65. I was like, you're insane if you pay $65 for a foundation stick. But when I saw this one in the outlet, I'm like, yes, this is my time. And I got this one for 40% off. So I only paid $39 for this stick, which is so amazing. So let me open it for you guys. And this is the inside looks like. This is actually a pretty big stick, I'm not going to lie. You have the Tom Ford logo here, and down here you have all the information. I got the color 2.7, which is kind of like on the yellow side. So let me open it up, shall we? This is the color. Look how beautiful. So let me swatch it here. So here is a color. I really love this color. I feel like this is a yellow slash neutral because it doesn't have a lot of yellow inside, which I actually like because, you know, my skin tone fluctuates depending on how much sun I get. So sometimes I have more yellow, sometimes I have some pink. So I would rather be in the middle so that I'm not like too on either side, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, here is a color. I love the color. And also I love how creamy this one is. This one really gives me the vibe of the Hourglass foundation stick. And now with the discount, this is actually cheaper than the Hourglass foundation stick. So I'm so, so happy that I got this one. And I cannot wait to do a first impression on my face about this one. 
All right, moving on. The second item I got from Tom Ford is this Tom Ford blush. And let me tell you, I love Tom Ford's blushes. In fact, he makes one of my favorite colors of all time. A lot of you guys have left me comments telling me that you want to see me doing like an everyday makeup look or telling you guys what's my everyday makeup products. So let me show you my everyday blush because this one is so, so beautiful. So this is the Tom Ford cheek color in the shade number five called Inhibition. So let me show you guys. So here is the color right here. Look at this color. I love this color. Actually, I got this one from Shakes Fifth Avenue paying full price. I have no discount, no nothing. As soon as I saw this color, I tested it on my cheeks. I'm like sold. I have to get it. And this one is retail for $45. So it is pretty stiff because for $45, you can buy a full on blush palette with six colors. So I know that this Tom Ford blush is pricey. But let me tell you, this color is amazing. Like literally, this is my everyday color. Whenever I'm going out of the door, if I'm not have time to do in contour or anything, I use this color because it gives me that lively blush without being too overpowering. I wear this to work, I wear this to grocery store, I wear this to meetings, I wear this everywhere because this is such a universal color. So this is in the color number five, Inhibition. And let me swatch it for you guys. Oh my god, the powder is so smooth. So here is a color. And here is a swatch. And look how smooth that goes on. Whether it's on top of the foundation or not. So if you have a similar skin tone as mine, or even if you're lighter than me or darker than me, I feel like this color is very, very universal. So yeah, this is my all-time favorite blush. And this is my everyday blush. All right, since I have already showed you guys my all-time favorite colors, I want to show you the new color I get. Because this one might become my new all-time fave. So once you open up the box, here is the blush. It always comes with a pouch because for a luxurious brand, it's always that a little bit of attention to detail that makes you feel super special, right? So I'm gonna save the pouch because I love it. And once you open it up, it's the same packaging as the number five. And this time I got the color number six and it is called Wicked. So are you ready to see the color? Uh, here is a color right here. So this one, I would say that it's definitely more of like a purple-ish pink color and it's definitely not as universal as number five. But I love this color because I love to do more colorful looks. I feel like I'm kind of over like the neutral brown color, especially on my channel, because the whole point of me opening a channel is to express myself to doing crazy looks that I couldn't do in real life. So what's the point if I keep doing the same look? That's why when I saw this color, I'm like, I am all game, especially this is only $27. I love this color as well. I think this is a beautiful fuchsia color. It's really beautiful now for like the summertime and it matches my nails, which I really love. So let me swatch it for you guys. The powder is really soft and here is the color. So let me swatch it right next to number five. So that is number six. As you can see, it's definitely more of like a crazier color, but you know what? I want to do more pink look because I still really love the Huda Beauty New New palette. I'm still not over that palette. I feel like I need to do more looks. That's why I feel like this blush can be a good match to the eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I cannot wait to do more looks using this blush. So definitely stay tuned. All right, that's it. That's all the items I got from the outlet. I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. And also don't forget to enter the giveaway. So yeah, that's it. That's today's video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.